Jessica Mulroney, Meghan Markle's former best friend, has made a shocking confession about the Duchess of Sussex's alleged mistreatment of Princess Charlotte during her wedding to Prince Harry in 2018. According to reports, Mulroney revealed that Meghan cruelly compared the young bridesmaid, who was just three years old at the time, to her own daughter in an unfavorable light. The incident, which has long been rumored but never fully substantiated, is said to have left Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, in tears. Meghan had insisted on a specific hemline for Charlotte's dress, which Kate felt was too short and ill-fitting for the young girl. When Kate raised concerns about royal protocol and suggested the bridesmaids wear tights, Meghan refused to compromise, supported by her friend Jessica. It was during this heated disagreement that Meghan allegedly made the cruel comparison between Charlotte and Jessica's daughter Ivy. The exact words spoken remain unknown, but the implication was clear. Meghan found Charlotte lacking in some way compared to her friend's child. Sources close to the situation claim that Meghan's comments were not only insensitive but also deeply hurtful, leaving Kate feeling protective of her daughter and disheartened by her new sister-in-law's behavior. This revelation sheds new light on the long-standing rumors of tension between Meghan and Kate leading up to the royal wedding. While Meghan had claimed in her infamous Oprah interview that Kate made her cry over the bridesmaid dresses, Jessica's confession paints a different picture, one where a grown woman bullied and belittled a three-year-old child. The news has sparked outrage among royal watchers and the public alike, with many condemning Meghan's alleged behavior as cruel and unbecoming of a member of the royal family. Some have even suggested that this incident may have been the catalyst for the rift between the duchesses, which only deepened in the years that followed. It's absolutely appalling to think that a grown woman would stoop so low as to insult a child, let alone a member of the royal family, said one royal expert. If these allegations are true, it speaks volumes about Meghan's character and her inability to handle the pressures of royal life. Kate Middleton, known for her grace and composure, is said to have been deeply hurt by Meghan's actions, but true to her character, she still sent the Duchess flowers as a gesture of goodwill. However, this olive branch appears to have been rejected, as the tensions between the two women only escalated. Kate has always been the epitome of class and dignity, said a source close to the royal family. For her to extend an olive branch after such a hurtful incident, only to have it rebuffed, must have been devastating. As the dust settles on this shocking revelation, questions remain about Meghan's motivations and the extent of her alleged bullying behavior. Was this an isolated incident, or a glimpse into a pattern of cruelty and disregard for others? Some royal insiders have suggested that Meghan's behavior was a result of the immense pressure she was under, coupled with her own insecurities and desire to control every aspect of her wedding day. Meghan was under an incredible amount of stress leading up to the wedding, said one source. She had this idea of how everything should be, and when things didn't go according to plan, she lashed out in ways that were completely unacceptable. Others, however, argue that Meghan's alleged actions are indicative of a deeper issue, a sense of entitlement and a lack of respect for the traditions and protocols of the royal family. Meghan came into this situation with her own set of expectations and beliefs, said a royal commentator. When those clashed with the established norms of the monarchy, she refused to bend, even when it came to something as innocent as a child's bridesmaid dress. As the controversy continues to swell, some have called for Meghan to issue a public apology, not only to Kate and Charlotte, but also to the wider public. However, given the Duchess's track record of doubling down on her actions and portraying herself as the victim, such an apology seems unlikely. Meghan has a history of deflecting blame and playing the victim card, said one royal expert. Unless she takes full accountability for her actions and genuinely apologizes, this incident will only further tarnish her reputation and her relationship with the royal family. Others have suggested that the revelation could have far-reaching consequences for Meghan's future endeavors, both within and outside the royal family. With her credibility already in question, any future projects or partnerships may be viewed through a lens of skepticism and distrust. Meghan's brand has always been about empowering women and promoting kindness, said a public relations expert. 
But if these allegations are true, it completely undermines that brand and calls into question her authenticity. One thing is certain, Jessica Mulroney's confession has added fuel to the fire of the ongoing saga surrounding Meghan Markle's tumultuous entry into the royal family. As the world watches on, the Duchess's actions and treatment of those around her, even a young child, will be scrutinized like never before. In the end, the true impact of this revelation may not be fully realized for years to come. But one thing is clear, the rift between Meghan and the royal family has only deepened, and the path to reconciliation, if it ever existed, has become even more treacherous. As the dust settles and new revelations emerge, the public will be left to grapple with the question of who the real Meghan Markle is, a compassionate advocate for kindness and empowerment, or a woman driven by her own ambitions and willing to trample on anyone, even a child, who stands in her way.